अवैधव्यम च सौभाग्य देही ध्वम मम सुवृते पुत्रान पौत्रांश सौख्यम च गृहाणार्घ्यम नमोस्तु ते इस पूजा मंत्र को पढ़ के हर साल हम स्त्रियाँ वट वृक्ष का पूजन करते हैं वट पूर्णिमा के दिन भारतीय संस्कृति में वट पूर्णिमा के दिन वट वृक्ष का पूजन ये एक आदर्श भारतीय नारी का प्रतीक है बट मेरे लिए एक ये सिर्फ व्रत नहीं है ये है एक अटूट विश्वास ये विश्वास है उस प्यार में आई बिलीव इन पावर ऑफ लव मुझे यकीन है कि कोई भी स्त्री अगर ठान ले तो उसके लिए कोई भी चीज़ नामुमकिन नहीं है इस वटम्बोर्णिमा के दिन हम लोग सावित्री जी को याद करते हैं कि कैसे उन्होंने यमराज के साथ एक स्पिरिचुअल वार्तालाप किया वो झगड़े शी हैड अ फाइट विथ हिम एंड शी कुड विन ओवर यमराज और अपना प्यार वापस लाया बट पुराण में हम लोग हमेशा सावित्री जी को प्रणाम करते हैं और उनको सराहते हैं लेकिन क्या हमने सोचा है कि जब ही सत्यवान जी मरण और जीवन के दो द्वारों के बीच में खड़े थे तो उनके मन में क्या हो रहा था उनकी क्या स्थिति थी देर इज़ अ स्टेट ऑफ बींग बिटवीन लाइफ एंड डेथ डज दैट स्टेट एग्जिस्ट टू यू नो थ्रो सम लाइट ऑन दिस वी हैव डॉक्टर शशांक जोशी ही इज़ अ रिनाउन मेडिकल प्रैक्टिशनर एंड ही इज़ अ स्पिरिचुअल सोल एज वेल स्पेक्ट्रम बिटवीन लाइफ एंड डेथ many people have encountered a near death experience near death experiences are states of altered consciousness that can occur in the context of a life threatening event where the body is injured by a heart attack shock or blunt trauma such as an explosion or a fall while the phenomenon by itself is uncommon it is undoubtedly very potent and the experiences range from being serene and positive to scary and dark hello i am dr sashank doshi you must be wondering what is dr sashank doshi going to talk upon i am an endocrinologist i am a physician i am a scientist i am a researcher i love teaching but my current area of interest revolves around life life and death and very closely i have seen death around the covid pandemic story narrates back almost 3 decades back and 3 decades back when i was an intern at grand medical college and sejj group of hospitals and later on a resident in internal medicine when we were actually having a tetanus ward rabies ward hiv aids ward we were actually curating and formating the for the first time the medical intensive care units there and as we were having the birds ventilators then we were actually talking to patients who had almost died and recovered and they narrated to us the tales of something called as ndes near death experiences and since then over the last 3 and a half decades and this is what i'm talking about is 1989 1990 1991 1992 closely looking at then that flashback memory came back to me when i saw my own terminally ill father who was suffering from metastatic cancer pass away in december of 2017 and as i saw death very closely somewhere down december 2019 we saw the unraveling of a new virus this new virus was a sars cov2 virus and by april 2020 we saw india had the first wave of covid pandemic it was predictably unpredictable it saw a lot of people who were grappling for death and again my interest in near death experiences was revived i again saw life and death experiences i saw uncertainty and i saw what human life is all about and therefore this whole near death experiences is not just a psychological entity it's not just a hallucination there's a lot of evidence base neurochemistry behind it there is a lot of neurology behind it there is a lot of biology behind it and today what we are going to look out are some real life anecdotes of near death experiences during the pandemic 
as the world went through uncertain times. Dr. Joshi was a member of Maharashtra's COVID task force. He once again saw deaths, uncertainty and cases which had near death experience. The COVID isolation and healthcare environment has left severe mental health scars which have been long lasting. The virus in the mind has been as deadly as in the body back then. Hi, I'm Dr. Samir Vyas, a practicing radiologist since last 25 years in Andheri, Mumbai. This is Dr. Preeti Vyas, my wife. Hi, I'm Preeti, Preeti Vyas. I'm a practicing gynecologist, practicing in Andheri since last 25 years. And this is a very personal thing that we are sharing with you today. It was about the accident that Samir had in the month of May 2021. Yeah, I was just uh, climbing down the staircase of my house and I tripped just before the last few steps. I literally saw you just flying in the air and you fell like a rag doll and it was such a loud thud. Even just before going in the OT, I mentioned that the surgery is going to be okay, but I hope I don't have any complications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you actually use the word aspiration. I'm like, what is wrong with you? I mean, aspiration is something we gynex would even think of. And I have not seen any in these last 30 years of practice. And why would you even think of an aspiration? Why did you say that? I don't know. I don't know. I just <laughs> said what came to my head. Anyhow, so in the uh, OTI, I aspirated. Yeah, you had then, aspirated. It was a massive aspiration, in fact. And uh, I mean, we were sitting outside and chatting. And suddenly, you know, the anesthetist came and told me. And I was like... Oh my God, like, you know, the world had just come crashing down yeah. and then you were on a ventilator, you were yeah. on the ICU, you were on the venti for more than 10, 12 days and you were just not responding. Yeah, yeah. So and that was a traumatic experience. And in, in the, uh, in that ICU period, I have this, I had the near death experience where um, I see a wall I'm walking towards and I was just a few steps from crossing that wall. And on the other side is the great black, dark infinity unknown, a place from where no one returns. And just before crossing over, I I heard a voice from my left side. And that was our Guru, Pooja Swami Dayananji. Hey, kidar jata hai? Turn back. You have to attend classes. Come back. So when I turned, I saw you and the kids standing. And I said, oh my God, I need to go back. So this was one experience. And the other one was where I was as though floating outside my body. I could see myself from outside. I floated around the ICU. I could go to other patients, listen to what the relatives are say, speaking to them. And uh, that one particular Parsi gentleman, I heard his the conversation between the father-son. And after I regained consciousness, yeah. I mentioned it to you. I remember this one. I remember this one. And I actually thought initially, that you've just gone into ICU psychosis. <laughs> I actually went and told Bharesh that he's talking rubbish. So he had told me, it's okay, it's okay, Preeti, let him be. Let him keep on talking rubbish, that's fine. And it was so funny because whatever you told me, the next day I was waiting outside the ICU and that son, that Parsi fellow's son, he suddenly came and told me that, are you Dr. Samir's wife? And I'm like, yes, I am. And he started telling me exactly what you heard. And I know you had not gone there because your hands and legs were tied and you were obviously completely immobile. And it, it, it was very funny. I mean, it was quite spooky. Yeah, yeah, I know. While Dr. Samir Vyas has recently experienced a near-death episode, those who have lived longer after such an encounter bring a piece that completes the puzzle. हर साल हम अपनी साल गिरा मनाते हैं, लेकिन सालों से नहीं, सांसों से ना पी जाती है ज़िंदगी। जब तक सांस है ज़िंदगी। मैं मेरे जीवन का एक अनुभव बताती हूँ, 
जो 25 साल के पहले मेरे साथ घटित हुआ है आज से 25 साल के पहले मैं रोड क्रॉस कर रही थी और पीछे से टक्कर मारी आके एक ट्रक ने और मुझे कुछ पता नहीं है उसके आगे क्या हुआ जब मेरी आंखें खुली तो मैंने पाया कि मेरे सामने नानावटी हॉस्पिटल का माहौल है और वहाँ पे उस वक्त मुझे बहुत ठंड लग रही थी उससे आगे मुझे कुछ मालूम नहीं लेकिन मैंने जब अनकॉन्शियस थी तब क्या देखा वो मैं आपको अभी बता रही हूँ मैं शरीर से बाहर निकली फिर से अंदर चली गई फिर से बाहर निकली फिर से अंदर चली गई फिर से बाहर निकली फिर से अंदर चली गई मैं क्या कर रही थी मुझे खुद को पता नहीं उतने में पीछे से आवाज़ आई कि तुझे यहाँ रहना है कि जाना है तो मैंने बोला पता नहीं फिर उन्होंने ही मुझे बताया शायद वो मेरे गुरु होंगे उन्होंने बताया कि तुझे अभी कर्म करने बाकी हैं जब तक वो ख़त्म नहीं होगा तब तक तू अपने वो घर में नहीं जा सकती फिर मैंने अपना जीवन शुरू किया आज 25 साल के जर्नी में मैंने क्या क्या किया वो मैं आपको बताती हूँ मैंने एस्ट्रोलॉजी पढ़ा वास्तुशास्त्र पढ़ा और आगे मैं सबको पढ़ाती रही और जीवन की समस्याएं सबकी दूर करती रही उसके बाद मैंने एक बुक लिखी गुजराती में योगा के ऊपर जिसका नाम है योग अने चेतना जागृति तो मेरे ये कर्तव्य मुझे करने थे जब तक ये कर्तव्य पूरे नहीं होते हैं तब तक सांस कैसे जा सकती थी Your death experiences have been described for centuries and centuries, but they were rediscovered by psychologists. They actually coined the term near-death experiences, and since then they have been writing a lot about these near-death experiences. A recent case report published in Frontiers of Neuroscience: a 88-year-old man who had a cardiac arrest after a subdural. They looked at the EEG mapping, and they found that there was a lot of gamma activity. so it is all about the waves in the brain and what the person perceives as his closing death so if you see these evidences are captured in different scriptures the egyptian scriptures the mesopotamian scriptures but of course our own vedic hindu scriptures whether it is the atharveda the rigveda various vedic scriptures all this has been encapsulated it's all about cycle of life and death and near death experiences is about the soul leaving the body about to leave the body and going back again to life we are in a constant state of cycle of life and death a lot of the near death experiences allow humans allow psychologists allow scientists to study this phenomenon they actually study what happens is there a tunnel is there a light they are understanding life they are understanding death life near death and life beyond death have remained mystical subjects of great interest on one hand we have strong believers and on the other hand we have strong critics the pandemic has threatened mankind and challenged science when there is loneliness pain fear distress and death all around how does one bring back peace and happiness for me personally having closely observed survivors of near death experiences having seen life and death closely it has allowed me to have a process of self realization it has allowed me in this kala yuga to study karma yoga to study bhakti yoga it has allowed me to change the journey of life to happiness and health with kindness and gratitude that is why we are all here in this universe and that is the journey of life so remember that these near that experiences allow us not to capture the fear of death but reawaken us into the realm of happiness realm of kindness realm of gratitude and eventually give us a path give us a journey towards moksha which is the ultimate abode of every human on planet earth 
internalizing deep thoughts isn't very easy. Our curious minds kept questioning Dr. Joshi's philosophy and we asked him what his thought process was when he and his colleagues built an ashram in the outskirts of Mumbai. When this place was conceived by late Professor K.C. Mohanty, the whole idea of this place was to build a structure where there is not just an abode of positive vibrations of, of Sai Baba, of Ganesh temple, but also have a Sai Vyaspeet, also have a community service hall where women are empowered, children can play, uh, tribal uh, you know, common marriages can be held and all these things have to be done. So, Ashok ji, आपने जब ये काम यहाँ पे चालू किया तो आपकी क्या प्रेरणा थी आ, आपकी क्या प्रेरणा थी ये, ये सब करने के लिए डॉक्टर के शी मोहन थे इधर बराबर और आप भी थे उसके बाद अपने गांव में खाली एक टेंपल था और वो भी इतना अच्छा नहीं था मारुति का टेंपल था वो बारिश में पूरा पानी भी नहीं आता था अंदर तो इधर एक एनर्जी पॉजिटिव 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 अच्छा right. लगता है इधर एकदम अपन बैठने के बाद ऐसा लगता है कि अपन किधर हो गए ऐसे चिंतामणि जी चिंतामणि जी इधर क्या कार्यक्रम होते हैं जो मोहनती सर करते थे उस समय तो आया था काफ़ी बार यहाँ पे एक कम्युनिटी किचन भी है एक कम्युनिटी हॉल भी है या सामूहिक विवाह होते थे तो यहाँ पे क्या होता है जब से मंदिर शुरू हो गया तब से पहले तो हर संडे महाप्रसाद चलता है करीबन तीन सौ चार सौ लोग यहाँ के महाप्रसाद का सेवन करते डॉक्टर साहब ने जी यहाँ ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा हेल्थ हेल्थ एजुकेशन स्पोर्ट इसके बारे में बहुत यहाँ एक्टिविटी चलती है जैसे कि ब्लड कैंप चलते हैं आई कैंप भी चलते हैं सामुदायिक विवाह यहाँ ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा चलते बहुत अच्छा बहुत अच्छा और अभी हमारी ये भी मनोकामना है कि यहाँ के जो बच्चों की स्कूल है इनको हमको सोलर एनर्जी देनी है और उनको सेल्फ सफिशेंट बनाना है सो वी वांट टू रियली मेक देम सेल्फ एम्पावर्ड सो दिस इज़ ऑल अबाउट एम्पावरिंग पीपल हु आर अंडर प्रिविलेज एंड यू यू सी अशोक और चिंतामणि आर द फुट सोल्जर्स ऑफ इंडिया इन द विलेजेस ऑफ इंडिया the